Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you a, well, kind of an unboxing and a review of the Castle Art 120 set of premium soft touched colored pencils. I would say it's an unboxing, but I've actually already unwrapped them because I wanted to be able to give a decent review on these pencils and I wanted to be able to play with them a little bit prior to filming the video. So when they were delivered to me, they were delivered in a padded manila envelope rather than a box, which is fine because they arrived and they were just fine. There's no breakages inside the tin or anything like that. I did go with the 120 set in the tin rather than the ones that come with the case just because they were on lightning deal on Amazon and I wanted to be able to grab them while they were such a great deal and if anybody knows me they know that I love my BT Sky or BT SKY cases and I always use those cases for all of my pencils so they will definitely if I enjoy them which I will let you know later in the video when we do a coloring test they will be going into one of those cases so we are going to go ahead and take a look at these pencils and then we are going to do a coloring test with them in a couple different coloring books and I'm going to give you all of my thoughts and I'm also prior to that going to let you know a little bit about the pencils themselves. If you enjoy this type of content on YouTube and you would like to continue seeing my videos please do make sure you subscribe to my channel and also turn your bell notifications on so that way you always get notified every time I post a video. Also please do give this video a thumbs up because it really does help my channel out a whole lot and I really appreciate it. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So they come in this tin. It's a decent tin. I mean, it's your typical tin that most colored pencils do come in. So it comes with a card that tells you about the Castle Club and says join the Castle Club today and I guess it's for a chance to win free art supplies and you get special coupon deals and maybe you get to share the different things you create and stuff on their website. And then it comes with a colored pencil tutorial and I kind of look through this a little bit and it just kind of tells you how to start with your drawing and use grays to lay down your initial drawing. Then it talks about laying your lightest of shades and then how to build the colors. And then I guess this just kind of talks about Castle Art and their brand of pencils and what is the Castle Art's universal color system. I'm assuming they have a universal color system amongst all of their other supplies. And then it shows you the different things that they have available. And these pencils do come in a 72 set and 120 set. And then, of course, you can also get, I believe, both of those in a, um, in a case to where they already come packaged in the case for you. But I did not choose to go that route, as I said earlier. So here are the pencils. As you can see, you've got light, lots of bright, vibrant, beautiful colors. By looking at the dipped tips, they are a black matte finish on the barrel. I believe that the leads are 3.8 millimeters and I believe that the barrels are about equivalent to a polychromos and they are going to be bigger than a Prismacolor. I have a Prismacolor laying out and I'll show you the difference between them and a Prismacolor and you could clearly tell that it is a little bit bigger than a Prismacolor. But they do have a matte finish on them, so they're not going to feel slippery in your hand while you're coloring. They're actually very nice. They have the color name. This one is Lemon Yellow Light. And then it has a number. Now, when they're laid in the case, they are numbered from 001, you know, 002, 003. So they're in order in the case I don't know how this order was actually or actually came to be but they're actually laid in order according to number and then if you lift this up 
we've got another tray under here. The trays are kind of flimsy, so you are going to want to most likely rehouse your pencils if you do decide to purchase these. And you can see the difference in colors. You could see the third tray down under there now. But you could see that the colors are very much mixed up. And of course, these are going to have to be all swatched out because they are not in any kind of order that I would lay them in. But I want to show you the top of the tin. And you can see if you look here at the top of the tin that it does have all of the actual colors and they look like they are more so by color family up here and that may be a good way to go I don't know I've not really looked at it that closely yet but they look like as or they look as though that they are in a good order but I would really have to look into that to be able to tell because some of these purples kind of look blue and I don't know I would have to look further into that to actually let you know for sure but let's look at some of the colors I know they're kind of mixed up right now and you all know that I probably will have a swatching video coming I will let you know for sure after I show you how these pencils actually perform. I've started working with them a little bit, but I'm going to try them out with y'all on film in a couple different coloring books. So you all could make your own determination and decide if you like how these lay down or not. So you could see here that we have quite a bit of yellows. And then we've got our more mustardy yellows. And I will, or I do want you to take notice that if you look at these, I'll show you up close, but here are the leads. And the leads, even though they are dipped at the top in color, the leads are not the same colors as the pigment that you're actually going to get at, like this one here looks like it is a lot more pink like a fuchsia pink and then if you look at the lead of the pencil it actually looks much more much more uh, red this one is actually called cadmium red so it is an actual red but the top does not look red and it does not match the tip but we'll get more into that when we start laying the colors down onto paper or even swatching them. But I do recommend not even just these, but any new pencil set that you get, you should always swatch them. It makes life so much easier, especially when trying to pick out colors and determine what color combinations you want to put together to use on your coloring pages. One other thing I do want to mention is that I noticed when I went through and I sharpened some of these that it was much harder or the wood seemed much harder in the pencil sharpener. So I want to kind of show you all that now. So you could see, of course, this is my Amazing Doll 133 sharpener. You guys know that I love this sharpener. It is my absolute favorite. I use it on every single pencil set I have, and it's literally saved my Prismacolors. But I want to show you what I mean. Most pencils, you put them in the pencil sharpener, and they just kind of, like even with this pencil sharpener, it just kind of glides and it goes. But this one, I don't think it's in there right. But this one, it is much difficult. Like, I really have to force push it, and it seems like it's really putting a lot of work into sharpening the pencil. But the one thing about this pencil sharpener is it is supposed to stop once the pencil is at the sharpness that it should be or has the, the perfect lead. And it did stop. And this is the lead that it created. So it created a beautiful lead. And in case you're wondering, that color is rose pink. That's a very pretty pink. There are some really beautiful colors in this set. Let me show you the other couple trays. 
Okay, so I think I showed you the first tray. So here's the second tray. It starts out with another pink. Oh, I think that's because it goes into the third tray where there are more pinks, but there's lots of pinks on the first tray too. But we've got like an orange here, then some browns, a green. This looks to be, it's called cadmium orange light, but it looks more like it could be like a skin color. And you could tell on that one, let me see here that this just proves even more so that that is the color on the lead and that is the color at the top of the pencil and they are not alike at all the lead is much darker than the dipped end of the pencil so just make sure that you do swatch these but we've got lots of beautiful greens this is a really pretty color it looks similar to one of the colors in the Black Widow set that was very different but now we're getting into our blues and our purples and our purpley kind of blues into the purples actually. And then I'm going to pull out the third tray. And we've got a couple grays. Gosh, do we have any other grays? I guess we have a couple grays right here. And then we've got a couple grays right here. Is that the only grays we have? So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it looks like you're getting maybe five grays in this set. And then what about the browns? I'm just trying to see what kind of color variations we have here. You get some beautiful greens. Look at all these greens. You've got greens from here to here. And then on this tray, you've got greens from here all the way, gosh, even this is green. So all these are t some type of green. All these are some type of green. This one has green in it. And then those are all the greens. There's no other green in the first tray. And then let's see about purples. We've got some purples here. We've got like a fuchsia here, more purples here, and then we're going into the pinks. Maybe I could lay these out just like this. And then bring in the third one and lay it here like this and I think that they're all in frame and you guys can see the array of colors there's some really gorgeous colors in this set and from the bit that I've gotten to use them they are very pigmented and they are wax based so they are going to go down on your paper softer or they should and I have found with these pencils I'm gonna get a little bit more into it as we get further into the video but I have found with these pencils that they are a good pencil but only on certain papers or in certain books and you guys know how I always talk about how you need to match your paper to the medium that you're using and that's especially important with pencils because you've got your oil based pencils you've got your wax based pencils and then even in your wax based pencils you have a huge array of differences in your wax based pencils some of the wax based pencils are much softer and they go down on any paper and look fantastic and blend well and other wax based pencils will perform better in one book as opposed to another and some wax based pencils will perform better in or on a certain paper if you're printing out your coloring pages from PDFs they will print better on certain papers than other papers or even better on a paper than in a coloring book so we're gonna go over all of that today in this video and so I am going to I've already actually started working on one page and I'm gonna show you what I've done I am actually using the Nina paper which is one of my favorites for most pencils and then you also have your oil based pencils that will more so layer than blend and you just kind of layer the colors on top of one another rather than working so much on blending your colors together as you would with a wax based pencil and then you've got different oil based pencils that work very differently in different coloring books or on different papers and they also lay down very differently and some are harder than others but every colored pencil 
is very different from one another and some of them you even need to change your coloring style and kind of work with them for a little bit to figure out how you're going to use them differently to say a Prismacolor which I know a lot of us are very used to using so if I'm using a Prismacolor I'm using it very differently than if I were to take out my Caran d'Ache Pablo pencils like my Pablo pencils they lay down very differently than my Prismacolors do so it was a whole different type of learning curve so there's that and then we are going to I'm going to move these pencils out of the way and we are going to go into a coloring book. I'm probably going to do Joanna Basford's World of Flowers since that one is so popular. We are going to try these in that book first. Okay, so I got out Joanna Basford's World of Flowers. And I think that we're going to go ahead and color this flower right here. I'll probably just do a couple petals. Okay, so here's my colors. All nicely sharpened since it is the first time that these colors will be used you always want to make sure that you do sharpen them first because sometimes there is a wax coating when you first get your new pencils to protect the leads on the outside um, of the you know at the bottoms on the outside of the lead so you want to make sure that you sharpen them so that you've got nice fresh new leads so that when they go down on the paper they apply nicely so let's go ahead and start on this flower and I think I'm going to start with my lightest color. Now if you noticed I chose colors that are not necessarily very close to, let me move down to the center, oh, you could see that one I did for another video if you're wondering that one was done with Black Widows and there is a video that I did on that one and I'd be glad to link that in the upper right hand corner so that y'all can view that. I love how that flower turned out. Okay, so let's go ahead and lay down the lightest color first. And then we are going to come in with our next one. And I'm really kind of putting these to the test because I did not necessarily go with colors that are in the same color family because I really wanted to see how they perform. There's my next color and then this is my darkest one and I'm going to color as I would with a Prisma color or any other pencil that I would use. And I'm going to see how well these blend out. They seem to be going down very nicely. The real test is to see how many layers you can actually get down and how well the colors are going to blend. But they seem to be extremely pigmented. Add a little bit more of this what was it called this one's called jade green so let's add a little bit more of this jade green see if we can pull this blue color out a little bit more it seems to be blending very well And I'm just kind of going over this very pale yellow very lightly in this area because I want to leave a little bit of that lighter color there in the center for highlights. They're actually blending quite well. Here in the center it's probably not blending as well, but maybe if I go over that with a little bit more of the other color. Yeah, 
these are these seem to be really pigmented the colors are gorgeous I will be honest with y'all and let you know that about a year and a half ago I ordered these pencils and I was not happy with them at all and so I ended up sending them back because they just would not perform for me at all whatsoever you know we all have our own coloring style and we just really appreciate our own coloring style once we get there and we feel like we have it figured out and we all have a different coloring style and we all color a different way and there are certain things some of us like to do and some of us prefer to do it a different way and that is what I would classify as your coloring style and they just were not working for me but I will also say that back then I colored in a lot of books with Amazon paper and I don't know if you'd say I have become quite a paper snob <laughs> but I really honestly think I have because this is working really well in this book and of course we all know that World of Flowers and any of the books from Joanna Basford have a very good quality paper in them and I think that's part of the reason a lot of us love them so much because they really work well with any pencil whether it's artist grade or a more budget friendly pencil these are a great pencil to start out with if you are a beginner or even not to start out with just if you want another set of pencils but if you're coloring in Amazon books with Amazon paper these pencils I tried them again yesterday just to um, you know reassure like what I had what my conclusion was about a year and a half ago with these when I had first ordered them and was not happy with them at all and I don't think they have changed anything with the actual pencil the only thing that they have changed is they have added the names onto the pencils and I think before that they may have just had numbers and so they gave them names and redid them in that way but I don't think they changed the pencils in any way so I took out one of my Jade summer books and I tried these pencils in the Jade summer book and it they did not apply well at all so if you are wanting to color with these in a book that is on Amazon paper I would suggest making a copy of it and possibly using a different paper and that is the next thing we're going to get into I'm going to show you how these pencils work on the Nina paper and of course all of the things that I discussed in this in this uh, video are going to be linked down in the description below okay so I have this page that I've been working on with these pencils and I was amazed at how these pencils actually performed on the Nina paper this is what I did with them and I will do one of these petals with you on camera we're not gonna color everything but I'm gonna pull those colors out that I used and I'm gonna show you how well these blend on this paper now this is the Deborah Muller this came from the Deborah Muller new um, book that just got released probably today and I went on our Etsy site and I purchased this it was only $5.99 and you get a ton of beautiful drawings I love her work she has always been one of my absolute favorite artists and I purchase her things when they're more cutesy sometimes she'll have things that are a little like she just released another one that was for Halloween so it's really kind of not my style it's very gory and like you know with other I don't know creepy things I guess some of her creepy cutesy stuff I do like and I really enjoy like one of her books that are my absolute favorite is called Wicked and that is one of my absolute favorite books 
but the one that she just released is a little too much for me and I probably won't get that one but she really has something for everyone okay so I've got my colors here that I have chosen I've got cadmium red yellow light and Indian red and orange lake and this Indian red is only going to be used for the darkest shadows and so I'm going to zoom you in so you can see how these lay down. Again, this is the Nina paper. And this is my absolute favorite paper to work with when I am coloring a PDF. I love it. It has a good amount of tooth, but it's not too thick. I believe it's a 67 pound, but I'll have the link down in the description so y'all can... Um, find it if you're interested. I'm going to turn it a little bit, put this in frame, and I'm going to come in here and I am just going to color with some of this yellow. They go down very creamy and smooth on this paper. And then I'm going to come in here with the orange. And let's try a little of the cadmium red. This red blends right into this orange. It's so pretty. And then I was doing a little bit here at the tip. I'm trying to be a little bit artistic with this flower and not just blend colors together. And this is my Indian red. And I'm going to put some of my yellow over here on this side. And they're working, I mean, for a budget-friendly pencil, considering I only paid $40 for these, Now I would say if you are going to if you're planning on using these in an Amazon book on Amazon paper you're not going to be happy. I wasn't happy. And that's why I ended up returning them the first time and not keeping them because they would not blend for me. And after I do this and I get these all laid down, I'm going to show you a little trick and how you could kind of mix your pencils and make these really work well for you. But I'm going over the whole thing with the yellow. And I'm going to add a little bit of my darker in. Over here I should have had some more dark because of course I want to make this petal here look as though it is standing behind the other petal. Again, these are very pigmented. I think I want to add a little bit more. I don't know if you could tell how well they are actually blending together. but I'm trying to leave a little bit of highlight areas in there. So I did this one a little bit different, but if you look at a flower naturally, no petal on any flower is ever the same, but I've got my white Prisma color, and I'm sure you could do the same thing if you were to use a uh, the Prisma color blender or any other blender, but look how well it blends together now and just pulls those colors through. So don't ever be afraid to mix 
your pencils. And then if you're using the white and you're not using the blender and it's lightened it up too much for you, you just come back in and you just go over it again. So I'm just adding the color back in where I want it. Now that it's nicely blended, I think I want a little bit more orange. But if you put down enough layers, I mean, it's still taking layers on this paper. That is really great for a budget type pencil, especially for only $40. I would think that these, um, but these are one of the cheaper budget friendly pencils that you could actually purchase. And I'll probably go through and I'll work this a little bit more. Because you guys all know that I am just too much of a perfectionist when it comes to coloring. I just don't want to stop if I'm just like, oh, that's going to make a difference and that's going to make a difference and I'll just keep going. But I need to stop because this is just for a pencil review and I'm not doing a tutorial or coloring it for y'all. <laughs> so here's my flower and where was the other one? Here's the one in the Joanna Bassford and, and I used different colors for both of them. So it worked pretty well in both books or the book and then the Nina paper. And I'm probably going to finish this picture because I think it's adorable. I love this new book she just came out with. And it has the cutest pictures in it. If you're interested in that, I will have that also linked in the description below. But these are the colors I used. That's my flower. And I'm going to finish this flower up because it's pretty beautiful, vibrant colors. And I'm just feeling all the fall right now because it's nice and cool outside. But I hope you enjoyed this review and sort of unboxing <laughs> on these Castle Art 120 Premium Soft Touch Colored Pencils. If you would like to continue seeing my videos, please make sure you do subscribe to my channel and also turn your bell notifications on. If you're not already in the Facebook group, make sure you check the description for a link and put in a request to join us. We have over 2,500 members and it is a wonderful, positive place to be where everybody shares their beautiful coloring pages as well as all of their amazing coloring supplies. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Happy coloring. Bye.